So when I have my rectangle straight and I have the two circles Hello everyone! Welcome back to Blue Bloom's Artwork channel. This is a world full of interesting, educative, creative and fun-filled art activities. And trust me, there is always a content for everyone. My name is Okpayemi Richard Sinawebo and I'm super, super delighted to have you in this world. So please, if you're yet to subscribe to this world, to this channel, please do so right now. Please do so right now. It sure do mean a lot. And also, it will make you be one of the very first to see my content every time I post a new content. Thank you so very much. So last time I, I talked about form. So if you're yet to see that video, please don't hesitate to do that. Do that so that you can also really understand where this particular conversation is coming from. Awesome. So I talked about form and I said something about the fact that a lot of people see form and shape as the same. There is always that confusion between the element shape and the element Four. So today, I'll be mentioning five, five differences between forms and shapes. How you here get to know? Okay, let's roll it. Number one, shape is a flat enclosed area. Remember, I made mention of that while I was talking about shape during the session for shape. So now what that means is that it's just the shape is just flat remember i said something about length and breadth it just has length and breadth and that includes it. so for example for you to make a shape you have to put lines together right so now you join two slanting lines and one horizontal line so what shape did i just make triangle so that enclosed area that enclosed space is the shape triangle and it just has length and breadth do you understand while for form it is a 3d composition of object in a 3d space so imagine a big pyramid look at the picture of the pyramid see how interesting it is is you having a triangle you can see in the round so that triangle we talked about for an enclosed area is no more a flat surface it is now a 3d object an object you can see in the round an object that has length width and height so you can see that is one difference between shape and form shape is an enclosed a flat enclosed a, a flat enclosed area while form is a 3d composition or object within a 3d composition now number two shapes are limited to two dimension and it simply means shape is two-dimensional and what that means also is that he has just length and breadth. Remember, I just mentioned that with the first difference. So it just has length and breadth. But for form, form is three dimensional. Form can be seen in the round. Form can be seen in the round. So form has depth, form has mass. So form is three dimensional and it has length, width, and height. So for example, this is a rectangle, right? It's a flat surface. This is a shape. You can see this in the round. It's flat. It has just length and breadth, right? Awesome. So now, look at this. This is three-dimensional object. This is a three-dimensional object. Now, it's made from rectangle, right? But for this object, you can see it in the round. Now, it has, see, it has width, it has length, 
and then it has height. Do you understand? Length, breadth, and height. So you can see that it also has, it has idea, like it has the volume, the mass, it's there. It's an object you can see in the round. Do you understand? So now that's the difference between a shape and a form. So this is the number two, a shape and form. So shape is two dimensional and form is three dimensional. Understood? So number three. Three. Yes. Number three difference. Shape is typically made from lines. Shape is typically made from lines. So for example, I have, I have a horizontal line and a vertical line. So I have two vertical lines. I have two horizontal lines of the same length. Now, when I put these lines together, vertical lines this way and horizontal lines this way. Can you tell me what I've just made? Yes, I just made a square. So you make shapes typically from lines. You put them together to make a shape. But in the case of form, you create form from shape. Shape helps you to bring the form of an object out. So for example, you want to draw a leaf. Now, drawing a leaf, you sort of like have a triangular shape, right? But by the time you follow that triangular shape, you are able to put the forms of the leaf and you are able to bring out what the leaf actually looks like. So shapes can be shapes is created typically by using lines. Well, we make forms through the use of shapes. I know it might sound confusing, but it's very simple. So let's let me take it again. To make shapes, we put lines together, we join lines together to make a shape. Now for form, we use shapes to create forms. So another example is this. I have a circle and a rectangle. So I have two circles and one rectangle. So when I have my rectangle straight and I have the two circles, one on top, one on that, I tend to form a cylinder, right? A cylinder is a three-dimensional object, is a three-dimensional shape, but a circle, a rectangle, those two, those two are shapes. Good. So you understand it, right? Awesome. So let's dive to number four. So number four. Now for the number four difference, shape gives a thing an outline. Shape gives a thing an outline through the use of lines. For example, in the case of a diamond, all you have is two slanted lines joined together at the top two other slanted lines joined together below and then the four joined together so now the shape just gives it an outline so when you see a diamond a real diamond that basic shape that basic form is what comes to your mind the basic shape is what comes to your mind but in the case of form form brings that shape into 3d it brings it into a 3d form so when you see instead of you seeing that just basic diamond shape you see the real diamond that looks so adorable. Do you understand? So that's exactly what I have in the picture. You can see the two differences, one on the right, one on the left. So you can see the diamond basic look just lines while you can see the real diamond. You can see that the real diamond is shape brought into 3D form. While the other one is just an outline. It is just an outline. So you understand the fourth difference now. That shape just gives it an outline. While form brings the shape into a 3D form. For awesome. Right? And lastly, number five. My number five actually summarizes everything have been saying about the differences between shapes and form number, number five is like an umbrella it just covers everything it just covers everything 
and that is the fact that shape is in two dimensional form shape is in two dimensional form that is remember it has just length and breadth so it is in two dimensions it has length and breadth so it is two dimensional shape is two dimensional while form is three dimensional form is three dimensional it has length width and height so please don't forget that one of the major things one of the major differences you should always remember is that shape is two dimensional while form is three dimensional shape cannot be seen in the round form can be seen in the round shape has just two dimensions length and breadth while form is in 3d with dimensions of length width and height shape is an outline it gives an object an outline it gives a form an outline while for form it brings shape into the 3d form awesome right so with these five listed differences we can now understand how shape is different from form and i believe in my own little way i've been able to bring that confusion out of you and make you understand vividly the differences between shapes and forms so what difference do you find interesting out of the five which one are you hearing for the first time or which one do you think really really explains the difference between shape and form please don't hesitate to drop your opinions drop your, drop your addition your just suggestions and your answer to the question i just asked in the comment section please let's talk more at. so if you find my content interesting if you find my content inspiring and educating please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share please it's really really important and i will really really appreciate it looking forward to having you in my world again till next time bye